the second you pause, you start to decay. Just think about that for a second. Where are you pausing in your life right now? Because I promise you, it's starting to decay. What's happening? Happy, uh, whatever the hell today is. Happy Wednesday. Oh, uh, man. Getting after it. First, uh, run outdoors in quite a while. Weather's been not very cooperative. So, it's, uh, it's good to, uh, get out and get after it. And, you know, have had a <clears throat> couple questions lately around kind of my structure, <laughs> time structure and everything that uh, we've got going on. And my answer is always, it's a work in progress. And it really depends upon what's most important um, going on in each of the three buckets of health, wealth, and relationships. So it is uh, huh, really dependent upon that. And so, it's like we have seasons of our of our year, we have seasons of our business, and we also have seasons of our life. And so, you know, it's just time allocation to what is the most critical that you need to put your attention on to move the needle in your health, in your wealth, in your relationships. And it ain't ever perfect. And if anybody ever says that they got it dialed in in all three, they're full of shit. They are full of shit. I can promise you that. So, yeah, for me, the answer is always what is, uh, what's most critical right now? Hold on just a second. Uh, try not to get ran over. <clears throat> so, you have to look at what drives the key things in your health and are you building you know world-class habits in those area and how are you allocating that time and, and the truth is i think all of those things are important to us i just really believe that we tend to not pr prioritize them correctly and i mean i'm guilty you know um you know right now you know, I've had a lot of attention on the health, fitness side of things, and and definitely a lot of focus on the business side of things. And my and my my eye has been off of the relationship, and it's it suffers anytime that you you do not focus time and attention on the non-negotiables. It's just a matter of time. I mean, it's just going to suffer. And you know, if something's falling apart. It's not what you did last week. It's not what you did last month. It's not what you did last quarter. It's been building over time. Your business is falling apart. It's not the business's fault. It's, it's you as a leader, not prioritizing or, or clear on the metrics that drive drive growth, drive profit into your into your business. And you know, same thing on your health. <clears throat> For the most part, you don't wake up you know, 40 pounds overweight, I mean, that shit builds over time. It's just poor habits. And so it's the same thing on relationships. If our relationships are not where they need to be, it's just we haven't been making the correct deposits with the correct behavior and the correct habits in forming non-negotiables. And so, yeah, life has a, has a way of uh, putting us back in check. And so um, my answer to the time allocation is, uh, Get clear on what's important that drives the results that you want <clears throat> and allocate that time into the calendar. It's not gonna be the same every day. That's why we focus on the 168, 168 reset. And get those, get those non-negotiables, those leading indicators, those habits, those behaviors into the calendar. And uh, they don't have to happen every day, but they do have to happen within the 168. So that's my answer. <laughs> um, like I said, it's a work in progress and it's just like us. 
I believe we're always a work in progress. And you're either growing or you're dying. And the second, the second you pause, you start to decay. Just think about that for a second. Where are you pausing in your life right now? Because I promise you, it's starting to decay. Let's make it happen.